The District Court of New York issued an order to Ripple and Securities Exchange Commission. Lawsuit has sent several tokens, including the Ripple's payment token XRP, higher. The court observation on the programmatic sales of XRP to retail investors not qualifying as securities and sales of XRP to institutional categorize as a security, which has powered the optimism among the other tokens that were recently booked by the SEC. The court found that the XRP was not a security when sold to the public, but it is an unregistered securities offering when sold to institutional investors. Well, the ruling provided an optimistic outlook on the Ripple as it expects the United States banking sector will start using XRP to facilitate cross-border transactions. Ripple also uses blockchain to send messages to banks which is similar to the SWIFT mechanism using the text messages to settle the cross-border payments. Well, the optimism on XRP token usage grew rapidly, pushing prices higher, nearly doubling over the past few days. The Ripple chief executive, Garlinghouse, in an interview called the ruling a huge win for the Ripple, but the more important for the industry overall in the US. Well, you know, two and a half years ago when this, the SEC first sued us, we said publicly that this wasn't just an attack on Ripple, it was an attack on the entire crypto industry. And I think we did see that play out with the SEC getting more and more aggressive in really trying to you know, regulate through enforcement, which we clearly don't think is a healthy way to do it. I think this is a huge win, not just for Ripple, but for the whole industry. Uh, I think it really is the first time the SEC has lost a crypto case and really puts the, the SEC, some of the SEC's narrative and uh, comments that they make publicly about all of these digital assets being securities, it puts that in check in, a, in I think in a very good way. Garlinghouse's remark was based on many tokens feeling the brunt from the lawsuit filed in 2020 by the SEC. The agency alleged that the blockchain developer and creator of the XRP cryptocurrency token raised more than $1.4 billion in 2013 by selling XRP in an unregistered security offering to the investors. The SEC won a partial victory as the US District Judge Annalisa Torres found that the company's $728.9 million worth of XRP sales to hedge funds and other sophisticated buyers amounted to the unregistered sales of the securities. In the court, Ripple relying on the previous comments of the SEC director to support in case argued that the XRP should not be treated as a security. The case has been closely watched in the cryptocurrency market and the pronouncement partially in the favor of retail investors fed optimism in the similar other tokens that are on the SEC radar. It may be noted that the agency brought more than 100 enforcement crypto actions claiming various tokens are securities, but many of those have ended in settlements. Ripple ruling bolstered investor sentiment as the court ordered help clear uncertainty related to the program contracts. Apparently, the global crypto market cap touched $1.3 trillion, adding $73.5 billion in just one day. XRP Ripple has been around for a long time. It's one of the most heavily regulated and most compliant cryptocurrencies in the world. It was registered in US. XRP, what essentially the SEC's debate was that XRP is a security. That has been the classic debate in crypto that are cryptocurrencies, I don't like the word currencies because we are not trying to replace the dollar or the rupee, but are digital assets securities or not? The SEC believed that these are not utilities, but they should be identified as securities. Now, identifying it as security means that the price of Ethereum decides the value of the Ethereum as a company but the cost and value of XRP does not dominate or dictate the value of the Ripple as a company. Hence, this debate. However, the Ripple as a company won. They were identified that XRP is not a security, which means that a lot of other companies who had cases, who had potential cases, who had rumors of cases happening against them, especially those registered in the USA, are all safe because this same landmark judgment can be applied in their, applied in their cases. However, XRP led the gains. Other altcoins such as Cardano's, Solana Sol, Polygonmatic backed the top slots among the XRP, XLM, to name the few. Lido DAO, the leading liquidity staking platform on Ethereum, has also surged, positioning itself among the top market winners. Liquid staking protocols enables users to stake their Ethereum while retaining the liquidity made possible by the liquidity staking tokens, which represent a claim on the staked assets. 
Pepe coin, Doge coin, Shiba Inu also entered the winning list. Meanwhile, the Ripple ruling has brightened the prospects for Coinbase, Karakin, Binance, the exchange that are facing financial regulatory ire over the over the offering unregistered financial securities for the trading. Following the Ripple ruling, the above mentioned exchanges have relisted XRP on their exchanges, which has also contributed to the price surge. That's all there is in this special segment. This is Manoj Dara signing off. But keep watching 3.0 TV for more such interesting analysis and update of the crypto world. Thank you.